Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of Skyrim Special Edition Survival. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had just gotten to Whiterun and Dragon's Reach, so we're going to continue on with uh, that. This is where... Yep. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. Mm hmm You should come too. I guess dragon. so. How exciting. Where was it seen? What, what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. Mm -hmm. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Also, you might have noticed there, the game frame rate does look a little uh, faster, don't you think? Eh? <laughs> uh, the new update through Xbox where older titles get a frame rate boost has just been implemented. And uh, Skyrim is one of them. <laughs> and my throat's starting to give out on me. <laughs> but uh, Skyrim is one of those older games that get a frame rate boost. It is a... It is a little finicky if you're doing it through quick resume. Um, if you're doing the game through quick resumes over and over and over, uh, it does seem to fuck with the feature a little bit, I've found in my own experimentation. But, if you do it off of a clean startup, works perfectly fine. So, figured I'd let people in on that little feature. Let's go. There we go. And here we are. What the fuck is Nazim doing here? What are you doing here? So you ain't part of this. Tells me you came from the Western Watchtower. Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast, faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Yeah. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. That he has. Here, let me. Or frankly, he's lucky <laughs> that he there. didn't get swept up. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Yeah. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. Technically, I already had it. As a token okay. of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Ooh. And please, accept nice. this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I Hide bracers like of minor wielding. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. Very nice. I need no, I'm to drained. be working Ugh. on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irela. <laughs> this isn't a death or glory mission. Mm. I need to know what we're dealing with. Yep. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Well, that she kind of is. Okay. So, minor wielding, as I remember, was, yes, one-handed. Ooh, that's lucky to have early on. <laughs> that I don't need to collect that later. Um, this is actually better than my current armor I'm wearing. I might as well wear it for now. It'll help out a little bit. Uh, is this technically better than my current? No, it's not. But that enchantment is pretty nice. We'll disenchant that on our way out. Some of you may be wondering why I'm using that fur bracers glitch still. Because it's useful. That's just a little extra armor, but boy, is it very useful. Alright, we will eliminate that. Eliminate this. I thought I already got that. But I guess I didn't. Oh well. Uh, get that. Get this. There we go. Um, did 
Did I have any soul gems that were filled? No. Okay. That's fine. Onward we go! Whee! To follow Irelith on her way out to rally the guards. Defend the city. One way or another. Eating enough will apply the well-fed bonus. Yeah, yeah, you know. All right. Away we go. Whee! Although doing it while drained is going to be annoying. What is she doing? Papa, I want to talk to you. Hmm? What about? Well, there's this boy and... Listen, Braith, why don't you talk to your mother about this, okay? There's a good girl. Okay, I see. Gotcha. Hamren doesn't want to talk about boys this early on. Yeah. That's a common thing with dads. They don't want to talk about that when they're, you know... That age, I guess. When you... Just picking flowers while she's rallying them up because I'm already ready for it. So I might as well get more ready by picking up flowers that I can use. Like red and blues. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. Yeah. We are honor bound to fight even if we fail. Honor bound to fight even if you fail. Well, it's true. Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, no, how dead. But it's more than our honor so dead. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours. If you're with me. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah, damn yeah. right. Let's move out. Yeah. <laughs> Solda, thank you for just walking around me. Just <laughs> casually reminding me that she's still here. Alright. Out we go. Alrighty. I, I need to sleep, don't I? Oh, I do have perks to increase as well. Mm-hmm. What do I put it in is the question. I could put it into bows. could put it into armor. Armor would be more useful this early on. Uh, I already have it in destruction. Do I have that alteration spell already? I don't think I do. Oh! It's been sitting in my books the entire time. <laughs> Will then. Alright, I'm gonna add that because any boost to armor rating is good. And might as well add that there. That way I can use it. Use it effectively without shenanigans. Alright. They're going to take their own path to where I'm going, so I'm just going to run my own way. Alrighty. How's my current weight? I'm nearing that limit a little faster than I would prefer. Kind of curious. Do I have... I do have eight of those. Okay, well... And I get plenty of leather. Whoop. Oh boy. I do not have a lot of uh, things going for me in the equipment department right now. Okay. Well, here's hoping. Oops. That was a miss. That was a bad miss. That was a really bad miss. Is this going to hit? Nope. Fuck me already. Come on. Damn it. Balls. Nope. Fuck. 
Welp. I tried. Is that... That is tracking the deer for me, at least. There's that. Oh, wait, that's a wolf. Oh, boy. Is that gonna... Nope, it's coming after me. Oh, okay, already. You had to do that, huh? Before I got my swords out. Well, thank you. Thank you for the help. Didn't think they'd be coming that quickly. Alright. There we go. Now they'll get back to their normal positions. No signs of any dragon right now. Mm -hmm. But it sure looks like he's been here. That is for sure. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Fair enough. So far the only survivor was that wolf that we saw. <laughs> Okay, why am I still running like that? That's weird. Uh, burnt corpse. Some steel arrows. Gold. Steel dagger. I could melt that down. There we go. Take that. Uh, steel dagger. There we go. Save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Yep. And it's time for the signature moment of Skyrim. The fight with the Foist Dragon. Mirror And it's probably gonna have to do it with the hunting bow. I'm getting contact, at least. All right. I should probably be doing it first person. Oh, hello! I did not expect you this close. Okay, well. I'm going to use this. I'm going to need this, probably. Oh, jeez, oh, you are really close. And really burning. I am on fire. <laughs> okay. Is that a... Is that a familiar I'm seeing off <laughs> in the corner there? Fighting the dragon. Huh. Didn't expect to see that. Uh, let's see. Let's use a uh, vegetable soup to get my health recharging. Oh boy, that is doing a lot of damage to my health. Okay. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. And he lands again. Uh, yeah, let's go with the sparks. The party only seems to be fighting me. Oh boy. I'm in trouble. I'm gonna blow through all my health potions in this race. And time for close combat. There we go. No! <laughs> That was too close. Way too close. Were you the one who cast the fucking... Were you the one who cast the familiar? <laughs> well, you have a very simplistic fucking... setup, I'll give you that. Um... Uh, yeah, I forgot to break these down. Because I don't think I can. Eh. Get rid of them. Don't need to keep carrying those. You might be wondering where those are coming from. I'll get to that in a bit. 
but uh, right now... Ooh, I kind of want to hold on to that a little bit for a little while. I want to get rid of that. That's good. All right. Uh, books, nah. Greetings, nah. Food, nah, I need those. Uh, weapons, nah, I'll keep the rest of those. There you go. No, I'll excuse you. I'm also going to take... Ooh! I can take those. Take that. Take that. That's one of mine. <laughs> and it looks like he already ate a guard at some point. Need something. And I'm going to sell you one of the things I just picked up from them. Oh, you only have 900 gold. Damn. Okay, well. Use the shout section now. Alright, y'all go and have fun. Um, <laughs> didn't expect them to be coming through during the dragon attack, but there you go. Uh, just curious what else I got going for me. Nope, just drained. Alright. Fair enough. Powers, unrelenting force. Might as well favorite Night Eye, because it's semi-useful. And... Oh my God. Is that yes, it is. That it is. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I think you may be right. Yes, I think I am. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragon? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerleth. <laughs> tell kinda us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? Covered by the dragon right now. Some of you would be I wonder. better off keeping quiet than slapping <laughs> your thumbs on matters you don't know anything about. There we go. Makes it a little easier to Here's see Here's the dead dragon. <laughs> and that's I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Well, Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You would is it understand, now? House Card. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did must be. Yep. You really are Dragonborn, then. Yes, I am. Who'd have thunk it? That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this Dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. Oh, you yeah? better get back to White One right away. Jarl Balgruff will want to know what happened here. Alrighty. But what about I'm you? I'm taking command here for the moment. You head back to White Run and let the Jarl know what happened. Okay, will do. In the meantime, let's see if there's anything I can glean <laughs> from, you know, what's left. Like a bed or something, that'd be nice. Oh, jeez. This White Run guard died almost immediately. <laughs> Jesus. All right, uh, take that. That, that wouldn't be useful. Hmm. Well, I'll take the shield. And the great sword. Okay. And there was a couple of these guys here. Um, did I take some? No. No, it didn't. This guy, though. Nope. Interesting. 
Oh, the armor was in dragon. That's right, I remember that. There we go. Cool. That way we can honor the uh, fallen who uh, died fighting the dragon. Honor them in our own home. Just have the armor uh, set up that way. I'm glad you're on our side. Yeah, I bet. Let us move. Oh, there's the road. I was trying to figure out where the road was. Because it's coming in that direction. I figure I might as well answer them, you know? <laughs> All right. Well, oh, that's purple. Damn it. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Um, do I have any camping supplies on me currently? I don't think I do. Hmm. I do have a lot of leather stuff, though. I would have had more if I have managed to get that elk. But, uh... <sighs> Yeah. No use crying over spilled milk. Might as well just keep moving on. Yeah, I bet I'm chilly. It's nighttime. I can remedy that a little bit by standing near here to warm up. There we go. Warmer and are now comfortable. Just need to be warm. There we go. Better. From here we can go inside. I wonder. Will that room I rented still be mine? So I don't think it's been a full day since I last used it. But it could look, you've already been told oh. you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now, get lost. Oh. We will be back. This is not over. Really? You there. Huh? We're looking for someone in Whiterun. And we'll pay good money for information. And who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. Mm-hmm. She is likely not using her true name. Mm -hmm. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Okay. Who are you looking for? We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell, a Redguard mm. woman. She may be somewhere in this city. Okay. Uh, why are you looking for? It's none of your concern. Oh. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. All right. If that doesn't interest you. Feel free to walk away. Okay. She cannot hide from us forever. Fair enough. I would assume not. Alright. Well, get all of this broken down. There we go. And... Hmm. Should I make... No. Not right now. I'll just buy another bed at the inn if I have to. Uh, we'll make assorted buckles, though. Because I'll need at least six of them. At least. Uh, melt down the greatsword doing good on that. Um, the daggers. Oh! Yeah, that's right. I can melt down the light armor. The Imperial light armor. Into steel. That's useful. Okay. Um, that deals with my weight problem a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay. 
that case... Well... Yeah, I guess I'll uh, see if that bed is still available to me. Nothing else. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Well, that might be true. See if that bed's still available. Air is warm here. Well, I, I would hope so. Hey, it is! Alright, that's good. Well, I'll sleep in here for about... 12 hours? That should do it, I think. Make that... Make that 11 hours. Uh, fuck. I don't remember if that was already done or not. Shit. Well, call that good. Hopefully I'm correct. Alright, I have one perk, and I'm close to the next one. What do I put it in? It is the question, isn't it? Uh, put it into Alchemist. Could do that. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. That would be nice. That would be very nice. And would help me out in the future. Well rested. I am now hungry as fuck though. Okay. Well, in that case, make that vegetable soup go into my face. Then I'm good. Alrighty. Cooking spit. Let's make a little bit of food, shall we? Ooh, I can make beef stew. I have just enough salt for it. There we go. And... Venison stew, I would need salt and a whole lot of other things. I would just need a leek for vegetable soup, though. Okay. Just need a few leaks, huh? Interesting. All right. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Interesting proposition. Uh, is there any other work you got? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Mm-hmm. Bandit leader located at Valtheim Towers, huh? Need anything else? Just let me know. Will do, if I need something specific. Don't need anything specific just yet. Just kind of seeing what you're letting me take. For some reason, I you're letting me do that, and I don't know why, but I appreciate it. Tell you that much. Fall from glory. Eh. Nothing interesting there. Nothing interesting to me. Uh, ooh. Could use the ale for things. I was about to say, yeah, that's probably still theft. <sighs> One can hope, though. Why would you have black robes? Why would you have two sets of black robes? Uh, I mean, I guess they are stylish. Girl's blue dress. A barrel. Ooh, got some carrots. But this barrel. Red apples. Okay. That's a small bottle of wine. Alright. Hmm. It's because I rent the room? Is that why I'm allowed? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. Ooh. Some tomatoes. Use tomatoes. Pick that up. And... Well, I mean... That salmon steak isn't going to be eaten by anyone. That ale isn't going to be drank by anyone, so might as well be me. Okay. So I guess... Just keep on searching. Hmm. Salmon meat. I mean, it'd be useful. But... 
I'd rather catch it myself, honestly. Clam meat, hissed carp. Salmon meat. Eh. I just want some salt so I can keep cooking. Happy amounts of food. That's all I need. All right. Jesus! This whole friggin... <laughs> friggin area has so much... When it comes to black robes, why? I don't understand. Alright, uh... Nord need. Eh, don't need that. Well, things are good so far. Hey, you sold her? Uh, there. Lilith. Oh, that would be stealing from there. Okay, well, in that case... We'll leave that alone. Hello, Nazim. Why is there a cast iron pot here? Um, I'm assuming that's not supposed to be here. But I don't know whose it is, so... Uh, this is here for you. Hi there. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Straight from the fields and orchards of White Run to your table. Yeah, my Some might call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. I don't know who would call food junk, but uh, sure. Let me see. A uh, wedge? No, don't need that. Bleaks would be nice right now. Sliced? No. Nah. Um, garlic? Eh, maybe. Mmm, yeah, all of this I still need. For now, anyway. All of this I still need. So, it's weird that the stuff that's already cooked looks different than what you cook yourself, but, I mean, hey. At least it differentiates the two. Just a little bit. Alright. Thank you very much. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Ah, I yeah, mostly. I think I right know just fruit and fresh eat. vegetables for sale. I don't have anything like that here now, but mm. my your lord. He can make you one right quick. When I get home, I'll have him start on it right away. Come back to pick it up in oh three days? Perfect. Nice. Special order for someone. Ow. I've got a recipe for I just bought all of those leaks there. I guess I uh, shouldn't have done that. I'll be sure to bring some back for you the next time I go. Uh, well, I, I guess I didn't have to do that. I could have just took them because I'm taking these, no problem. Alright, well then. Dumb on my part, but it's fine. What the what? No, please. I really don't have any money, Bray. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. Just don't hit me. Ten septums tomorrow, baby battleborn. Or I'll bloody your nose and your lip. Oh, I see. That's the boy she was going to talk to her daddy about. I see now. I'm here to buy food. I Fair enough. Oh, Nazim's rubbing in the fact he's rich. Yeah, that's damn it. That putts. Alright. Well, then. What should I be doing? Is a good question. Speak with the leader of the companions. Report back to Jarl Balgruf. And then... Find Amren's family sword inside White River Watch. I could do that. There's the Tundra Homestead, which is DLC house. Well, DLC. It's a mod that's paid for, so I guess it's DLC. Anyway, um, there was also this, which is also a paid mod. I uh, was kind of curious what it would look like. It was on sale. Figured why not pick it up. Um, this, 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 this. Yeah, all of that. Um, kill the bandit leader. We'll toggle that. Alright. Other than that, all good. Now, I guess we will head up 
and talk to the Jarl and let him know what happened. Might as well tell him as quickly as possible after my nap. So, also, I wanted to double check real quick. I was correct. It was magic I needed to up. Cool. Makes me feel better. <laughs> Alright. Whee! Good. You're finally here. The all has been waiting for you. Yeah. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. Well, I'm here. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yeah. Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Well, I mean... Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? Honestly, not much. When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it, and then it's a, bit, a lot of bright lights, and it was a whole weird thing. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, not much else. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Uh -huh. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thume or shout. Mm. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Interesting. You the thundering sound as you return to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgard. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. I Rondar, mean, calm yourself. yeah, I did hear it. What does it, any but... of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragon. I mean, yeah, signs, sure. Nord nonsense. Why, oh boy. you puffed up ignorant. Now you did it. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Get yeah, true. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. I'm sure it's you just didn't. just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Hey, exactly. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you. Mm hmm and the Greybeards heard it. Yes, it did. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? Damn right. You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. You're right. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Oh, did you? Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. Yeah, they might not. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. Will do. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. Mm -hmm. By my right as Yarl, oh. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Okay. I assign you Lydia as a personal house car. Mm -hmm. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Okay. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Well, I guess not. We are Especially honored when I'm to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Alrighty. Well, that was rather short and sweet, but to the point. And the Axe of White Run. Burns a target. Targets on fire takes extra damage. Alright. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad at all. Alright, so... That will go on the mantle, probably. <laughs> Hello. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. Mm-hmm. It's an honor to serve you. Oh. 
What does a house carl do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. Mm -hmm. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Don't know why the lighting changed, but okay. Fair enough. Follow me. Lead the way. Sounds good. And away we go. Whee. If someone following me now. And I've got your back. I would appreciate that if you did. Uh, need to trade some things. I am sworn to carry your burdens. That you are. That you are. Uh, let's give her something that she won't use. <laughs> Uh, well, that's, that's a question that I can't really answer, huh? Uh, the dragon bones and scales. That way it's out of my inventory. Um, ingots. Oh, yeah. Those will be the, the most of my weight, for sure. Uh, steel. Okay. Yeah, that gets that out of my inventory. Okay, cool. Let's get going, then. Yes, let's. Sounds good to me. And now that I think about it, I have eight pieces of leather. I have eight frostbite venoms and six... Ooh, now I'm hungry. Six, uh... Sorted buckles. Eat that salmon steak. That should be good enough. There we go. Now I'm back up to well fed. Aha! So. Might as well. Make that, uh. Strapped bandolier across my chest. And make that the, uh. Black leather variety. That's good to me. There we go. Perfect. And then it's just a quick dark large bandolier. Booyah. Uh, yeah, don't need any more of that. And equip that and I'm all the way up to 460. Hey, hey all right. Beautiful. Now I just need more leather. It's always a fight for more leather. Always. Always, always, always. It's funny, these get upgraded with leather, but they can get melted down into steel. I find that a little funny. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, can't really upgrade these too much. Okay, so... Um, did I do anything in smithing? I did. Alright. Hmm... I guess it just go out into the world a little bit, uh, unless I talk to the companions, which I still need to do. So let's go talk to the companions. Why not? Just before I forget again. So I've been doing a lot of that. <laughs> Alrighty. Perfect. Up we go. And we walk in. Are those two at it again? Knew it. Oh. You'll wear them out. Uh, are they going to be okay? Little blood to clear the air. Hope you have the stomach for it, outsider. Well, I mean, I'm just making sure that it's going to be okay. That's fine, I guess. Can I join the You think you have what it takes? I'm not the one who makes that decision. Talk to Codlac. Who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. Oh, come on. Be nice. Who are the companions? Ask any fool around here and get a different answer. Mercenaries, warriors of honor, brothers and sisters of the blade, drunken rabble. Take your pick. I've been here longer than most of them. Even I don't know sometimes. I just hope they don't kill each other. Well, I mean, that's fair. Although, it does look like they're trying over here. But, it's only with fists. So, I guess it ain't too bad. Well, that ended that. Where do you stand on the wall? None of our business. There's no honor to be had in the squabbling of yards. Fair enough. Why did you join the companions? 
I learned the ways of the Blade in the Great War. Nearly lost my life outside the Imperial City. Really? I came home to Skyrim when it was all over, but I wasn't much good at anything other than fighting. Mm -hmm. Wandered around as a Blade for hire. It was a damned good one, too. The money was good, and the women were good, and the drinks were good. That's I was losing cool. myself, my heart. I, bet. I was lucky the companions found me. Now there's a reason to be fighting. The honor of my brothers and sisters is worth more than coin. Of course the money is still good. And the drinks. <laughs> well, okay then. I'll take my leave then. As will I. Well, sounds like a decent enough outfit, I guess. Well, I can't take those. He's not yet. All right. Well, so far so good. Huh. Interesting. Who are you? Hmm? Oh, apologies. This one was distracted. Fair enough. Greetings. This one bids you welcome, but perhaps you will come back another time, yes? Okay. Yeah, you did seem a little busy there. Uh, okay. Bye. Okay, well, I guess I'll talk to him when he's not busy. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. You have my brother and I, obviously. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. Fair enough. Well, hi there. Who are you? Great. Another ambitious visitor. You think you can just wander in here and join us? Uh, I mean, can I? I don't know if you're capable, and I don't have time to find out. Okay. If Codlack will vouch for you, I might have some work you could do. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, who are the companions in your eyes? You'll hear some of the brighter faces around here talk about honor and glory. Mm -hmm. I've got nothing against it, but for me, the promise of coin is what feeds my blade. Fair Wherever enough. someone in Skyrim doesn't feel up to defending their own honor, we'll take up their burden. Fair enough. Where do you stand on the war? There are always good reasons to fight. I just wish this war had. Who cares who worships what dead god? Give me something to make me draw my sword. Like money. Fair enough. Why did you join the Companions? To hear Farkas tell it. Our father raised us here as happy pups. Running around, biting knees. <clears throat> I love my brother, but his brains are not his strong suit. Fair enough. We were brought here by Jürgen. Whether he was our father or not, I don't care. Mm. He left to fight in the Great War and never came back. So he's not my problem anymore. We've been here as long as either of us can remember, though. So try to show some respect. Fair enough. Until next time. Yeah, very well, until next time. But we'll save talking to Codlack in the next episode. Ah, aren't I a stinker? Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and going through the motions of the real early Skyrim game. Just also dealing with food and whatnot as well. Uh, because survival, food, sleep, and all of that will be important. And, uh, yeah, just going through the motions. It's going to get real challenging later on, though, I can tell you that much. But uh, for now, just getting into the main game and uh, joining the companions soon for you.